All right, guys, I got some exciting news. Uh, I finally got my ostrich uh, 2.0 in the mail. Here it is here. Um, so what this does is it's like a direct um, connection to the ECU. It plugs into where the chip used to be. This is uh, the chip that I had in there. I unplugged that. This goes directly to the ECU where the chip was. And you've got this header here that goes to the module. And this, uh, basically, it's it, well, it's an emulator. Uh, Real-time emulator. So it's basically, it saves the the tune, I guess you could call it, in this little module here. So right now, it's a blank blank map. And what I'm going to do is open up a, uh, a D16Z base map. Okay. I'm going to... It's already connected. I'm going to write... Right here, it says write. And it's going to send this base map to the module... And it's it's already done. So I'm gonna fire up the car and it's be running straight off of that base map. Just like that. It's uh that's a stock D16Z base map. And I can make live changes to the to everything. I, when you click real time update, the changes happen live as soon as you make the change. Uh, otherwise you have to highlight the maps. Uh, like so go up and down and then click right um, Right there, but uh, yeah, so this is This is it man. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I got the wideband in the mail I got a little gauge pod to put the wideband here and probably the boost gauge over here because uh, I'm gonna be tuning just based off of the boost gauge Because um, you probably haven't noticed but there's two units of measurement There's uh, the vacuum is in inch pounds and of course the boost is in PSI but if you correlate the RPM and that inch in vacuum and boost, you can kind of cross-reference your map. So for example, it's idling at about, uh, let's just say 20 inch-pounds of vacuum at about 900 RPM. You can come here and find roughly, uh, here's 21 inches of vacuum, roughly 1,000 RPM. So this is roughly the cell that I'm going to be in right now currently at idle. Um, so yeah, just using that like a cross point reference, I'm gonna I'm gonna tune this thing. We'll take it the wide band, and I'm excited. It's gonna it's gonna be fun. Uh, so I can't wait to actually uh, put in the GM3 bar, the 1000 cc injectors, and get this thing tuned up on E85. So all right, just this is pretty much just a quick update. Uh, thanks for checking in. Uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.